The Iranian National Ballet Company Persian, Sazman Bal Mali Iran was Iran's only state ballet institution until the Islamic Revolution of 1979 and also the most known and recognized of all dance companies in the Middle East. It was founded in 1958 by the Iranian Ministry of Culture and existed during 21 years 1958 to 1979. The company, residing at Tehran's Rudaki Hall Opera, was disbanded in the aftermath of the Islamic Revolution and was re-established 23 years later in exile by Nima Kion under the name of Les Ballets Persans Persian, Sazman Bal Iron in Sweden. History Topic. Introduction of ballet in Iran The history of ballet in Iran started in 1928 when Madame Corneli, a Russian immigrant who fled the Bolshevik Revolution of 1917, started giving dance lessons in Tehran. There was no methodical ballet training, the classes consisted of various exercises to make the body supple and to cultivate the students' awareness of rhythm and musicality. Part of each class was devoted to character or folk dances. A later dance teacher was Madame Yelena Avidijin, and Sarkis Janbajan who respectively in 1933 and 1938 organized dance classes in the city of Tabriz and Kazvin. These newcomers expanded the European-influenced dance scene in Iran by holding performances and dance classes of various style, including classical ballet, European folk dancing, the European partner dancing, etc. <laughs> Iran's pioneering ballet company In the early 1940s Nila Kram Cook, who had vast knowledge in Eastern cultures and languages, was serving as the United States cultural attaché at the American Embassy in Tehran. During her time as the U.S. culture AL attaché she became employed at the Ministry of Education and Propaganda, as Director General of the Arts Department. Her endeavors and great interest in Persian culture, arts and literature resulted in the realization of the most extensive Iranian national dance project of the first half of the 20th century. In 1946, Kram Cook founded the studio of the revival of the Iranian ancient arts in Persian, Astwawi Aye Hanarhe Bastani Iran aiming to revive and restore the forgotten ancient Iranian performing arts. Most of the dances were based on Persian history or mythology. An important work by Cram Cook, The Caravan, was developed from a poem by Saadi and was later performed in 1958 by the Iranian National Ballet. The dance troupe performed at functions at the American Embassy in Tehran and toured nationally and internationally, remaining active until around 1953. <laughs> Establishment of the National Ballet Company In 1955, Merdad Palbad, the head of the Fine Arts Department commissioned Najad and Haida Ahmadzadeh to start a ballet school on a professional basis aiming to raise native Iranian ballet dancers for a future national ballet company. The school was opened in 1956 in the premises of Tehran's Conservatory of Music. Two years later in 1958, the Iranian National Ballet Company was established with Najad Ahmadzadeh as its founding director. When the Fine Arts Department of Iran eventually expanded and became the Ministry of Culture and Arts, Najad Ahmadzadeh was appointed as director of the Ballet Academy, the Ballet Company and the National and Folk Music, Song and Dance Ensemble which was a sister company to the Iranian National Ballet Company using the same dancers to create and stage a nationally inspired repertoire. As institutionalizing ballet and bringing about a professional national ballet ensemble comparable to the ballet companies in the West had become a serious concern for the government, the Iranian monarch Mohammad Reza Shah Pahlavi had personally asked Dame Ninette de Valois to counsel on the formation of a ballet company during one of his official visits to London and after a command performance in his honor at the Royal Opera House. In the summer of 1958, Dame Ninette de Valois was visiting Turkey where she had founded a ballet school. On the invitation of the Ministry of Culture and Arts, she prolonged her trip in order to visit the National Ballet Academy of Iran and Budding Company in Tehran. 
On her return to London, she sent Anne Cox followed by Miro Michael Zolan and his wife Sandra Vane. Later Nicholas Biriozov, Marion English Delanian, Richard Brown and finally Robert and Jacqueline de Warren were sent by de Valois to teach and stage dances and short ballets for the Ballet Academy and Company. The Iranian National Ballet Company developed to become the most renowned Iranian cultural institution during its tenure as the country's only ballet institution. Company productions were often performed at official events and functions in the presence of the royal family and invited national and international dignitaries. The company moved to the Rudaki Hall Opera upon its completion in 1967. Topic: <repertoire>, repertoire. The company repertoire included classical, neoclassical and contemporary ballets which were staged usually by invited guest choreographers and ballet masters from Europe and the United States. The company established a close collaboration with dance institutions in Soviet Union, United States and Europe. The Royal Ballet, Royal Academy of Dance, Bolshoi Ballet, American Ballet Theatre were parts of a vast exchanging cultural program between the companies. Some early works of the company were those choreographed by Nilla Kram Cook for the revival of the Iranian Ancient Arts Ensemble which were restaged by Kram Cook's former dancers, Najad and Haida Ahmadzadeh. Prominent and world-famous ballet dancers from renowned ballet companies of the world were often invited to dance the principal roles of all great classical ballets. In order to keep the high standard of the productions the company relied on guest artists from abroad to perform the leading roles in most work premieres. <laughs> List of Iranian National Ballet Company productions <laughs> Artistic staff The Iranian National Ballet Company started operating in 1958 with a dozen of dancers. The company grew to approximately 50 dancers, one-third of them Iranian natives. The rest of the company members came mostly from Europe and the United States. <laughs> Artistic directors Topic: Principal choreographers. Topic: Ballet masters and mistresses. Topic: Dancers. Topic. Disbanding of the company The civil unrest and political upheavals that caused the collapse of the monarchy and establishment of a theocracy in Iran started in 1978 and was escalating rapidly. The last ballet production that was staged at the Rudaki Hall Opera was Sleeping Beauty during the fall season of 1978. By December 1978 and January 1979 the political situation of the country became more and more unstable. Almost all foreign members of the company left Iran during this period as soon as there was a flight available, before the complete collapse of the regime in February 1979. Employed dancers were informed that there were dismissed till the new government's further notice. Eventually, a meeting was arranged in Bagh-e-Manzariya in northern Tehran soon after the victorious revolution in the presence of Rudaki Hall's workforce and Ayatollah Muhammad Mofada. When he was asked about the fate of ballet in Iran, he replied irately and in no uncertain terms that Islamic Republic and ballet is paradoxical and self-contradictory. The Iranian National Ballet Company was thereafter formally declared as dissolved in 1979. Topic. Revival of the Iranian National Ballet Company in Les Ballets Prasands 
23 years after disbanding of the Iranian National Ballet, the Swedish Iranian dancer, and choreographer Nima Kian created a new company in Stockholm, Sweden with the support of the Swedish authorities. Inspired by Les Ballets Russes and Ballets Suédois as exiled dance companies representing vastly the culture of their countries, he named the company Les Ballets Persans Persian. Sazman Balar. The company repertory is entirely based on the Persian culture and heritage and does not include any works of the Western repertoire unless they are created based on Persian heritage. The project of revival of the Iranian National Ballet Company made an international impact and was regarded as the most extensive individual artistic project ever realized outside of Iran. Notes On the 35th anniversary of disbanding of the company, on August 29, 2014, around 40 former members of the Iranian National Ballet, including Najad and Haida Ahmadzadeh and Ali Porfarak, gathered together in Washington, D.C. to celebrate and share the accomplishments of the company. This was the first reunion of company members after leaving Tehran 35 years ago. In a message sent to this reunion, Nima Kian, the founder of Les Ballets Persans, the successor company of the Iranian National Ballet, wrote, On behalf of the new generation of Iranian ballet artists, I salute all attending and even absent members of the company this evening. Your collective accomplishment of the past time is today's fundament on which this new generation is standing on. It is a reason of pride for the new and future generations of Iranians and a reminder of a past time of development and progress for the art form of dance in Iran. See also Vaudit Hall Les Ballets Persans Official website of Nima Kian <laughs>